Thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel today. I'm going to be showing you how to do the single player to multiplayer slash director mode component transfer glitch. I do want to give a shout out to the founder, so check the description for a link to their channel or their information. And please remember that I always leave text tutorials in the description for my glitch videos or links to other text tutorials or videos in the description. And for this one, you will see the whole tutorial listed line by line with steps in the description so if you're that kind of person follow along there or if you're having any issues or have questions on the way follow along there too so let's go ahead and get started here there are no prerequisites in story mode to complete this glitch you just simply need to go on your component character in this case i'm putting components on my female character to transfer over to my male character and then after you've done that you just need to swap over to that character you're creating outfits for so in this case here i'm swapping over to my male character. Once you've loaded in as a character you're creating outfits for, hold down on your d-pad and select a story mode character. You can also go to options online and leave GTA online to spawn back into story mode. So if you plan on doing this glitch more than one time and because it is a single player to multiplayer glitch to transfer the components and we're going to be eating a peyote, I suggest going down to quick save in your phone and saving the game right now that way you'll have a slot that you can go back to and you can always use the same two peyote plants instead of having to find a brand new peyote plant each time because once you do eat a peyote plant on whatever game save you're on it disappears and goes away and then you have to find a totally brand new one which kind of screws it up if you don't want to spend all that time finding the plants so that step i believe is very important it's just something i kind of thought about and figured out as i was doing this glitch so i'm going to be showing you the location of two peyote plants that we're going to be using for this glitch and then we're going to head to them and complete the next step of the glitch so the first one we're actually just going to mark on the map it's down here at the airport if you did the other glitch before with single player to multiplayer you already know that's that and then the other one we're just going to be driving past it here so you can use any peyote plants that you want on the map if you know the locations i'm just showing you two easy ones that i know of that i'm going to be using so there is a baseball field here kind of in the hood with the skate park by it it's where stand your ground is and online and it's behind the dugout that's the one that we're going to be using if we get one of the options when we load back online but the one that i like to use for actually getting the cops on me and completing that step of this glitch is the one over by the airport so once you are over at the mod shop by the airport, you will see a peyote plant. It's a green and purple looking plant between these I-beams and the forklift. And I'm going to show you right here. You can see I'm looking at it right here. So now what we're going to do to make this next step of the glitch easy is we need to obtain a two star one at level. Honestly, the easiest way to do this instead of wasting your time punching pedestrians and things like that is to just put in a cheat code which allows you to get a two star one at level. So for PS4, the cheat code is R1, R1 circle r2 and then left on the d-pad right on the d-pad left on the d-pad right on the d-pad and then left on the d-pad right on the d-pad again you're going to see that on your screen here and also i'll include it in the text tutorial so just walk out by the road where you see the cops and let them start shooting at you and follow you back to the peyote plant once they are in sight of you and the peyote plant again and start shooting at you press right to eat the peyote plant once you do this, after a couple of seconds, you will start to turn into an online animal. It usually is a ground animal. And you may get an alert that asks if you want to autosave the game here. You can press X to accept that alert. It'll be a whole new autosave slot, and you do not have to worry about it saving over that slot you saved previously. So when you do spawn back in as an online animal character, you need to run back over to where the cops were so that you can keep that two star one at level and allow them to kill you. As soon as you start to fall to the ground dead, once they've killed you, press your PlayStation button. You're going to go to Grand Theft Auto activities and find a recent activity that allows you to start GTA online. Press that, press X on the alert, and then as soon as you get this white screen, you need to go disconnect your internet from your network settings. Stay disconnected, click back on the GTA app, and then complete the process to load into story mode. And this is a very important part right here. You will be stuck on this white screen while you are in story mode. So listen to what's in the background, listen to where you're at, if you're in a house, if you're out on the street, wherever you might be, and try to focus on getting outside where the cops can arrest you. This is very important here. I know when I spawn in 
On this account, I do spawn in inside of a building, so I have to kind of like think of where I'm at and then walk outside. So once you're on this white screen, go back and reconnect your internet. Once you've done that, come back to the game, and then you need to obtain a one it level. To do this, again, we're gonna use that cheat code, which is R1, R1, circle, R2, left D-pad, right D-pad, left D-pad, right D-pad, left D-pad, right D-pad. Then you should get busted. Now, again, you're on this white screen, so you can't see it happening, but you can hear the process in the background. Once the cops have busted you, and as soon as your screen flashes to that busted or that wasted screen, go ahead and press the PlayStation button again, go to Grand Theft Auto Activities, and go down to find a recent activity that allows you to start GTA Online, and accept that alert again. Now you're going to spawn online with the story mode character. So when you're loading back into GTA Online, you're going to get some weird screens. Your screen may turn completely white again. You may get the hallucination type screen. As long as it says joining DT Online in the bottom right hand corner, then you're good to go. But this is where it can get tricky and where I did tell you there are a couple different things that can happen just depending on when you press to accept that activity alert when you were dying as the animal or when you were getting busted by the cops in story mode. So I'm going to show you and tell you about the last one as we're doing it, but I'm also going to give you the for instances here. Please listen, please check the description. I'll include all of these for this next step. So three things can happen here. You could load in and after about three or four minutes, you're just totally stuck on this white screen. You can hear people being killed in the background. You're like, what's going on? What do I do? If that happens and you're just stuck on a white screen, press options on your controller. Once you do that, the, the online pause menu should open up for you and you can simply just go to swap character and choose your component character. It's easy. That's the easiest method. That did happen for me one time while trying this glitch. I wish it happened every time because it's the easiest method, to be honest. But like I said, there's really no way to replicate it each time. It just depends on exactly when you hit the button in story mode. Another option that you could get here is that you get stuck looking at your apartment or your CEO building or wherever you normally spawn into on GTA Online. If you do get stuck loading in, all you need to do is suspend your application. And to suspend your application, you just simply need to go over to Amazon or YouTube or Netflix, open up one of those applications, then come back to GTA Online. It'll say you've suspended the application, hit X to accept that alert, and then you'll load back into an online session. In this case, if you do load back in as, <laughs> you know, as a regular online character, that's fine. It looks weird and you're like, uh-oh, I screwed up. But if you go to the location I'm going to be showing you here for this next, for instance, you will find the peyote plant still and you'll just be able to eat it. And all you do is eat the peyote plant, your controller vibrates, and you won't be able to pull up your phone when you press up. And then you simply just go to swap character and choose your component character. Or you are going to get the third option that you see here. You're going to spawn in as the story mode character. Near the location where you ate that peyote plant, it's going to tell you that you've collected one out of, I believe, 27 peyote plants. You'll get an alert that says you unlocked whatever animal in director mode that you just chose. And again, you'll have this two-star one at level. So you need to stay out of the way of cops, try not to go any <laughs> near any online players, try not to die, and you need to find a location of another peyote plant. I'm going to show you here that when you do try to go over to the one that you've already eaten, you cannot access it again. And I just want to prove that to you in case anybody is wondering why not. So when you go over here, you look where you just had that peyote plant that you ate, wherever you might be, it's gone. You can't click right or anything over here. So what you need to do now is first, I suggest going into passive mode in your interaction menu, just so nobody disrupts you while you're trying to find this other peyote plant. And then just hop in a car, doesn't really matter what you get into, and head over near that skate park slash ball field that I drove past and showed you. I'm also going to show you the location on the map, again, of exactly where we are going. So once you get to this location, you're just going to head behind the mound here and you'll look down and it'll ask you to press right on the D-pad to eat the peyote plant. Once you press right, your, your controller may vibrate. If it doesn't, just give it a couple of seconds and then try to press up to access your phone. If you cannot access your phone, that means you're good to go here. You can go to online options and then you can swap character to choose your component character. So for this video, I was swapping components or outfits on my female character over to my male character. So I'm going to be selecting the female character at this stage. That's the one that has the components on it. 
And then, like with every other DM or single player to multiplayer glitch here, you're going to be in a screen for a really long time, like literally a really long time, and you're eventually going to time out. So once you do time out, press X to accept that alert, and then your screen will freeze. Once it unfreezes here and starts to move as quickly as you can, go ahead and close your application. And then when you do go back to open the application, everyone's favorite part, the screen will turn black. Hold down R1 and L1 on your controller all the way until you get the display calibration screen. Press X to just make it whatever you want it to be, and then you'll load back into story mode. When you are in story mode, if you are not completing this glitch again, go ahead and adjust your control, audio display, aim, all those settings there because everything is going to get reset. And then go into an invite-only session to check your outfits as quickly as possible, or you can join any online session, join friends, whatever you want to do to look at your outfits. So if you're like me and you do a lot of merging and you have components that you're <laughs> not sure that are going to transfer, you're testing things, you may not be able to click on every outfit that you did have once you were in online. If that happens and the outfit slots are there but you can't actually click on them or see them, one, you either have a duffel bag on them, which we know there are issues with duffel bags now, or you can just simply open up a versus job called Crooked Cop, select that outfit from the player-owned outfits, and you can view the outfit, see what might be wrong, see much, what you might want to change, or use that to start merging items. Or you can also, after that, then open up that same outfit by immediately starting a titan of a job and then making changes to that outfit. I do that as well if there's something on it that I know probably didn't transfer or caused me not to be able to wear it. In free mode, like sometimes invisible items do or anything that's blacklisted, like if you're desperately trying to put a cop out with something even though it's not going to save <laughs> in online. I don't know why you guys don't listen. That will also cause issues with outfits. So if you have any questions, please, please, I implore you to first check the description. This is a weird glitch because there are several different things that can happen when you're finally in that glitched out state and online. But it doesn't really matter what happens there as long as everything else before that seemed to work well. Check again the description for those three instances, and then also just check for the full text tutorial, read through it before doing the glitch, follow along as you're doing the glitch. That helps me out, especially with this one, I don't know why, because it's a very simple glitch. There are just a couple of steps that might be confusing, or there are also tips and stuff that I'm going to leave in the description along with the text tutorial. So if you're looking for components, I do have component lists for male and female. You can check those out. I'm working tirelessly to update them and to get items at it. I do want to note that if you're making cool outfits with Christmas stuff, just be weary because those items can be deleted. Once Christmas is up, I don't really know what Rockstar is going to do with that this year, but most of the time they just simply delete the whole outfit. So we have 20 outfit slots. Now I suggest if you're saving things with like joggers or things that you're going to lose and you don't want to lose, create two versions of that outfit. One with something that's safe on it that you know that's not going to delete and maybe one with the Christmas item that you wanted to create a cool outfit with, <laughs> which is what I've been doing honestly this whole week since I've had this glitch. So I really appreciate you guys stopping by this video. I hope it was helpful. If you at the end of it have questions that I have not answered, please just leave a comment. I will do my best to answer those. There are a lot of people that also check my comments for me and help me answer questions if I'm not around or just people that watch and view videos on my channel that are also very, very helpful. If it's something that I've answered in the video or something in the description, I will literally tell you to watch the video <laughs> or check the description. That's not me being rude. That's just me not wanting to repeat myself a billion times and me wondering why in the hell you watched the video or came to the channel if you're not actually going to try it for yourself first. So thank you guys again so much for stopping by the channel. Please drop a like, subscribe, leave me some comments, and I'll see you soon with more videos.